The state of Maryland recently announced a substantial change to the ESREC market with the introduction of certified ESRECs. Here's what you need to know to capitalize on this change. All right, Larry, so before we get into the change, let's talk about ESRECs really quickly and just give everybody a brief explanation of what an ESREC is. Yeah, so the ESREC is kind of like the environmental attributor credit yeah. of the solar generation, completely separate from electric savings, completely separate from pushing power back out to utility and getting credit that way. It's completely separate from that. One SREC is a thousand kilowatt hours and it can be sold through a broker to the utility company to help them comply with state requirements and provides additional income back to the system owner. Correct. So it's got nothing to do with whether you use the electricity or don't use electricity. Just the fact that your solar array produced a thousand kilowatt hours, you get one SREC and it has monetary value. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So what's changing in Maryland that has an impact on them? So a certified SREC in Maryland now has the value of 1.5 SRECs. Okay. It's a little bit confusing. You still produce the same amount of SRECs. So if you produce 10,000 kilowatt hours, that's 10 SRECs, and you sell 10 SRECs. But to the end buyer, they have the value of 15 SRECs. So theoretically, it's going to give your SRECs a 50% increase in value, which is significant. Correct. So that's a very important point, just because you, when you produce 1,000 kilowatt hours, doesn't mean you're getting 1.5 SRECs. It means you're getting one SREC, and the value of that SREC, the dollar amount, has gone up by 50%. Correct. All right, Larry, so let's talk about who qualifies for certified districts. Are they available to everybody? Obviously, first of all, it's only projects installed in Maryland. Let's yeah. make that clear initially. It's only projects installed in Maryland. And it's only specific projects. So any project 20 kW AC or under qualifies automatically. Okay. Now, we're talking about AC, not DC. So you're not looking at your solar panel size. You're looking at your solar inverter size. Right. So if you have 15 kW DC... 10 kW AC, you're thinking about the AC size, not right. the DC size. And then secondly, any project that is two megawatts AC or under that does aggregate net metering. What that is, aggregate net metering simply means that you're producing power on one meter and you're aggregating that power to other meters virtually. Virtually, yep. Right. So any system, and these are typically going to be ag systems that have multiple meters, two megawatts or less that 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 uh, takes part in aggregate net metering. And then thirdly, any project that's five megawatts and less that's either roof mounted, carport mounted, or installed in a brownfield. So the idea here is, let's use what we have. Any project that's on the roof, on a carport, on a brownfield that's five megawatts AC or less, complies right, right there. And then also any project that's 20, 20 kW AC and under. So the, the only projects that I can think of that really don't comply are ground mounts that are larger than 20 kWAC that don't aggregate net meter. Right. So and I think one important last piece is this is for new projects. This is not, you can't, even if you meet all of those requirements, but your system was installed two years ago, you don't qualify. This is a new program for new systems. That's right, Warren. That's important. Larry, so what impact uh, are these certified ASRACs going to have? So first of all, let me just mention, Warren, and you alluded to this already, this is only for new projects that yep. are installed July 1st of this year right. or later that are placed in service July 1st of this year or later through January 1st of 2028. So it's only a several year program. Um, as far as the impact, the monetary impact, which is really what it's all about, yeah. uh, let's say you have a system, a system that produces 10,000 kilowatt hours, that's 10 asterisks a year, 10 SREX, let's say SREX are valued at 40 bucks an SREX, 10 times 40 is $400. Right. If you have certified SREX, now suddenly you're getting $600 a year rather than 400. And we could take that times 10 and say, what about a system that's producing 100,000 kilowatt hours? Now suddenly you're getting 6,000 instead of 4,000. So it's a fairly significant monetary impact. Yeah. So let's talk, Larry, about the steps to uh, get your SREX certified versus non-certified districts. What do you have to do to comply? So it's it's very similar to what it was before. And here what I would suggest is typically it's best to not do this on your own. Right. Work with a company like Paradise. We do all the paperwork for our customers if they want us to. We do all the brokerage if they sign an agreement for us to do that. There's plenty of other brokers that do that. You don't have to do that with us. There's right. plenty of other brokers that know how to do this. 
You want to make sure that all the steps are followed properly so that you comply. It's not overly complex, but it still needs to be done properly on the front end. Right. So in summary, really all new projects in Maryland, unless it's a ground mount over 20 kW that's not meet virtual meter aggregating, is going to qualify for certified asterisks if the project gets put into service after July 1st of this year, 2024. And there's a process to do that. And we recommend you let us or whoever your installer is walk you through that process of getting your, your asterisks certified so you can sell them and you can either sell them yourself through another broker or have a company like Paradise sell them for you. But the real change here is that all of a sudden, as of July 1st, Maryland asterisks will be valued at 50% more than they were in the past. Mm -hmm. And so it's a drive and an additional incentive to go solar in Maryland. So let us know what you think about this change in Maryland regarding certified asterisks. Leave a comment for us below. Also, if you want to learn more, we'll link to our learning center below where you'll find tools, articles, blogs, and more information on installing solar in Maryland.